Hi, I'm Stig Hedlund. I'm the design director for Gods and Heroes. So the soldier, I, I think, is, is the, the image that everyone has in their mind of a, of a Roman legionnaire. Um, this, this is the guy who, who uh, you know, he has on all the, the heavy armor and the big square Roman shield. And he can, he can really absorb a lot of damage in combat. And this is the guy that you want protecting your, your rear ranks and all the guys who, uh, who are less well equipped to, to take damage. Um, he's just a, you know, an all around tough fighter. You have kind of two options that you can go with uh, if you're playing a soldier as far as which weapons you use. You can you could go with single-handed weapons like uh, sword, spear, axe, club, things like that with shield, or you can uh, specialize in uh, uh, two-handed weapons like two-handed swords, uh, two-handed axes. Um, the soldiers can use mail armor or heavy armor later on, and they can they can use small shields and large shields. So Mars was an obvious an obvious god to associate with the soldiers uh, since he's god of war. Um, so the the powers that Mars allows you to call on are uh, are sort of centered around fire and fire damage, as well as sort of being more of an, an aggressive uh, attacking kind of uh, soldier. The other god that you can choose as a soldier is Minerva, and Minerva. Uh, is you know probably well known as, as the goddess of wisdom, but is also a goddess of battle. And um, the powers that, that she allows a soldier to call on are uh, are sort of focused on um, his ability to to take damage and to be accurate as far as dealing out damage to his enemies, and then uh, also increase energy and ability to continue to fight. Um, so the similar to the gladiator, the soldier. Um, has squad feats that, that center around infantry minions, and uh, you know a good example of one of those would be Blades of Wrath, that allows allows his minions to attack on all sides of them at the same time. 